Hi, welcome in. This is the PSRE 2022 Files and Pens question. Uh, I was asked to create this by my students. And so let's begin without much further ado. Right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to underline your keywords, okay? So first we're going to circle the fraction. So we got seven. So seven of, of what? Of his money. Hence, this is Mutu's total. And then it says here that four is what he used. So what did he use it for? He used it to buy six pence. So we're going to highlight these two words, used for six pence. And then he used the rest of his money, okay, to buy four pence and three fouls. The first question is, what is the fraction of his money? And I'll explain later why I highlighted it this way. Did Mutu use to buy three fouls? And the second one is that for every five fouls that he bought, one was free. So the question then is, how many fouls would he be able to buy if he were to use all his money just to buy fouls and nothing else? So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is you want to use the numerator of the fraction over here to draw the model. And then since this is seven, there will be another three boxes that I will show you what you need to do. Okay, so this is what we do. First, we're going to have to draw four boxes. So these four boxes here that I'm about to draw represents the four seven. And the four is used to buy six pens. So we're going to denote that over here. And we're going to write six pens. Now, as I said, the total is seven. So if four is drawn, where is the other tree? Well, the other tree was used to buy the four pens and three files. Okay, I'm not going to highlight this because it wouldn't be correct to highlight it this way. So just an explanation. And now I'm going to draw the three below. Okay, like this, we're going to cut it into three parts. And it says here that this is for the four pens and three files. Okay, so this is four pens and three files. Let's denote that. So here I'm going to put four pens plus three files. Okay, next. In order to continue with this question, what we need to do is we need to combine or reconcile the relationship between the six pens and the four units here. To do that in modeling, what we do is we draw another model above. And this model is going to be cut into six boxes to represent the six pens. Okay, so clearly that means that every box here is one pen. Let me just show that. So this would be one pen, okay? Every box here is a pen. And since my goal is to have a relationship between these two, then between six and four, the lowest common multiple is 12, okay? So in order to turn six boxes into 12, I need to turn each of these boxes into two. So two times six makes 12. How many does each of this become? What do you think? Okay, if your answer is three, then you're right because three times four makes 12 units. And one pen is now two units. Now, this is his remaining money here that was used for four pens and three files. So if one pen is two units, how much is four pens? So what we want to do now is we want to take four times two. That gives you eight units. Right? And how much or how many units is this part that was the rest of his money? Okay, the rest of his money is made up of this and this portion. Sorry, I'm pointing at the wrong part. The rest of his money is this three portions. And since each of these boxes is three units, 
that makes a total of nine units. Okay, so this is a total of nine units. Since the nine units, out of the nine units, eight of these units is already the four pens, then the remaining one unit is the three files. Okay, so that's how you find out about the three files. So the three files is basically nine unit minus the eight units from the four pens to get one unit. So now we confirm that one unit is three files. Okay, let's try to answer the question now. It says, what fraction of his money did Mutu use to buy three files? The reason I highlighted it this way is because whatever comes after the word of in fractions is the denominator. So if his money comes after of, that's the denominator. This is the denominator of the fraction above. So since we want to find his money, then we need to know how many units is his total. Okay, his total amount of money here is three units times seven boxes. So the total amount will be three units times seven, giving you a total of 21 units. The question is, what fraction of his money did he use to buy three files? So the money that was used to buy the three files here is one unit. So the numerator would be one unit and the denominator would be his money and his money is 21 units. So one unit over 21 units would be the answer for part A. Okay, so A would be the price for three files over the total that he has, his money, Mutu's money. So that is one unit out of 21 units, hence one out of 21. So that's the answer for part A. Now let's answer part B. Part B says, okay, fine. So Mutu decides that he wants to buy only files, no pens. Okay, he has enough. So he just wants to buy files. So how does he, what does he do? Okay, he has to decide how much money he has. He has 21 units of money and one unit of his money can buy him three files. So if one unit gives him three files and he has 21 units, how many can he buy? So 21 units would represent 21 times 3 or 63 files. But that's not the end of the question because the question does say that for every 5 that he buys, he gets 1 free. So we need to know how many he gets free from buying 63 files. Okay, how do we do that? Well, now we're going to take 63, which is what he bought, and we are going to divide that by 5 to see how many groups of 5 he has. This will give you 12 with a remainder of 3. So what is the 12 and what is the 3? Well, the 12 that you see here represents 12 groups of 5. And the 3 represents the 3 files that do not form a group. Okay? So if there are 12 groups of 5, let me rewrite that. False. And if he is going to get one free for every five files, which is one group, in other words, for every, every group that he buys, he gets one file free. So since he bought 12 groups, he will get 12 files free. All right? So 12 groups would mean 12 Three false. Okay. For the remaining three here, he doesn't get no free false. So to answer the question, how many files will he be able to get? Okay, if he was to use all his money, simply uh would be that you will have a total of 12 free files plus the 63 files that he bought with his money. Okay, this 21 units is what he bought. The 12 are free, so you add it together. And that gives you a total of 75 files. Okay, so that's what he will receive. Were the explanations clear for you? 
If you have any questions, remember to leave it in the comments and I will answer them. If you have found this useful, please share it with your friends. But most important, remember to subscribe as this channel was made to help parents in their journey. I would appreciate that a lot. If you want the worksheet, look in the description below in my Telegram group, join it and you will find the worksheet there. I will see you again.